what are you doing in here? <laughs> I know it's been a while, but you do not have to reduce yourself to hiding in my refrigerator. You must be freezing. Let's get you out of there. We have house updates to talk about, life updates, a house project coming down the pipeline that I have to share some things with. But before we get started, let me tell you about today's sponsor. I have to tell you a little bit about my things from Caraway and how I'm loving it. And I am so appreciative of them, A, for sponsoring this vlog, but also for sending me and gifting me these products. But you know I don't do sponsorships unless I really, really believe in something. And I will tell you, I have never been happier with a product in my kitchen. So the first thing you should know is that Caraway is all about clean cooking, BPA free, making your pots and pans and food storage containers the cleanest and healthiest version that they can, while also making them incredibly, incredibly durable and just beautiful products. So I have had this Caraway set for probably seven to eight months. I use these constantly and this is what it looks like. I'm not kidding you, some days I just clean it out with a wet paper towel, nothing sticks to them. They are the best pots and pans I've ever had. So much that my set of all clad, I don't even touch them anymore. And in all honesty, I plan on giving them away because I don't reach for them. The new product that I've been sent are these magnificent navy blue food storage containers. And to be honest, I've already ordered myself a gray set as well so that we have enough to get rid of all of our other plastic wear and just have these in the house. Now, there are so many things I love about these containers. You get two medium. I have one in the dishwasher right now. You have two medium, two small, and you get one large. And what's really great about them is they are ceramic coated glass, so incredibly, incredibly durable. They also come with these little like pods so that you can organize and move these and maneuver and fit them in all of your containers. So if you're doing salad, you could keep your protein separate, your dressing separate, and your salad in the rest of the container. They also come with these silicone straps to help keep your lids on. Now, what makes these game-changing food storage containers is not only that they are healthy and BPA-free and ceramic coated glass, but they are microwave and oven safe. So, when you're reheating something, you can throw it in the oven up to 450 degrees. So I'm already thinking like the large one, how great this will be for like leftover lasagna or casseroles that you can just fit it in here and then throw it in the oven the next day. Heating something up in the oven is so much better, but our food storage containers typically don't allow for that. Caraway does. I could not be more thrilled with this product. It comes also with a cleaning sponge. It comes with these beautiful storage bins that you can keep things organized in your cabinet. The cookware also comes with these organizers. I'm telling you what, when my gray set comes, I am ditching all of my plastic containers and all my other food storage containers. And these are the only ones we will use because there's just nothing better on the market. You guys know I don't do sponsorships. It would have to be something that I know would make your life better and something that I truly love and this is it. And Caraway has so graciously offered you guys a 10% discount using my code CHRISTOPHER10. I will have all the information linked down below for you. I'm telling you not only are these great for yourself but someone starting a home and needs like the essentials of the cooking, that set of pans will last them a lifetime. I could not be happier to promote Caraway because it's something I truly believe in, the quality of the product as well as their mission. So all the information is linked below. Christopher 10 will get you 10% off and I hope you enjoy them and love them as much as I do and I know you will. Good morning friends and happy, happy Sunday. It is around 5 a.m. and we are going to get this day rocking and rolling. We have so much to catch up on, so much. I have a big update in our primary bedroom and bathroom that I wanna share with you. 
as well as to tell you what's going to be happening in the house in March and have a few more samples to show you of things. The lighting is a little weird. Oh well, we're gonna make it work. But um, yeah, there's so much to catch up on and in order to do that, I must be caffeinated. So I'm going to get some coffee made and then we will get this Sunday started. I also have a birthday brunch with Danielle and her mom today. So lots of things going on. First house update. Over the past week I've been working to refresh our primary bedroom and that's exactly what I did. I'll link everything that I possibly can find. So about two years ago I put this molding on our walls and I love it. And I painted it originally like an accent wall. So the other walls were like a beigey gray and then this was called Acacia Haze. Very beautiful color, still have it around my house. But I wanted something a lot more calming and bright and light. I love a moody space, but I really wanted our bedroom and bathroom to feel light and bright. So I went with my favorite color, Floral White from Benjamin Moore. It's the same color as my whole entire hallway and stairwell. It's like a very nice warm white. It's also the color of my dining room. And then I also knew that I wanted to incorporate some like blues and grays. So some new bedding from Casa Luna at Target. And this is Magnolia. And this is also, this quilt is Casa Luna. Tip for layering your bed. I like two sets of king pillows. The ones that you actually sleep with in the back. The sham ones. Two throws and one euro, um, two throw pillows and one euro. I think it makes the best. Then you want to go quilt, comforter, throw blanket. Easiest way to make your bed look really, really high end and just beautiful. I do have a bed skirt that almost looks like it's a very clean lined bed skirt. So it almost will look like the base of a bed. I had to order a specific one for a sleep number, but that's on the way just to finish that off. Then this rug I picked up at Target. It is a nine by 12. Actually, I think it's a little over a nine by 12 because when you get a rug for your bed, you want a nice amount in the front, but you want it to go at least halfway up to your bed and about three feet on each side. So this is a little over a nine by 12. It works perfectly. Picks up the gray, the warm beige, and the blue that I really wanted to bring. We don't have a footboard, so this bench was a perfect addition to like finish off the end of the bed. This chair, I'm obsessed with. Look at the feet on it. I have an ottoman that will be here that matches it exactly. This chair is so stinking comfortable. And then to mimic the bubble feet, I have this side table from West Elm, some new art. This lamp is quite old. I think it's from Studio McGee two years ago. And then our side tables are beautiful. They were an investment piece. They have a marble top. Finding oval nightstands is not easy, but these are just stunning. Another quick change I made was these originally were like a chrome, like very shiny silver tack. So to mimic the hardware on there, I pulled out all the chrome ones and for 15 bucks, grabbed myself a set of antique brass ones and changed the whole look of the bed just by doing that. This table used to be painted black, but I wanted to lighten the space more. 
So I painted it a really simple beigey warm tone from, I believe, Sherwin-Williams. I forget what it was called. And then kept the same accessories on it, kept it all the same. And then over here, just added some art I found at Target. And yeah, it made such a huge difference. I also raised the curtain rods and put them on a contrasting clip. So my rods are black, but my clips are gold. I love like mixed metal. So I thought this was a really great way to incorporate it. But that's kind of our little bedroom refresh. Like I said, one more piece here and I haven't decided what I want on that wall. If I can find like a really cool antique dresser, that would be ideal. Then I wanted to bring the blue into the bathroom. This blue doesn't read right on camera. It looks much brighter than it is and it's more of like a gray blue. Actually, it doesn't look terrible, but it's not as like powdery as I think it sometimes reads here. So. Just wanted to make this space feel a lot calmer and also like transition from the blue in here to the blue in this space. So just deep cleaned it all and refreshed it even in our like shower, closet, toilet thing. Just refreshed the whole space. And yeah, this was, this was a project. It took like a week because also like things needed deep cleaned first, painted and then deep cleaned again, but really really happy with it and just this window frames how beautiful everything is outside right now could not be happier with this finished product like i said i'll link all the furniture pieces and bedding down below for you to check out target shipping was very fast so remarkable what's also great is this rug came folded up in a box you unfold it it can be washed I don't know what washing machine could possibly handle this rug. You'd have to take it, but it is to but it is totally washable, which is also really nice. But love how this space turned out. I am back from Danielle's birthday brunch. It's like one o'clock right now. The morning kind of ran away from me. I quickly did my workout today, and then which was like an hour long for my trainer and then had to get ready in a hurry and head to brunch. I hate having to rush though, because after a workout, I hate when you shower and you're still like producing sweat. I even took a cold shower and it was just very frustrating. I felt like my hair was already sweaty after I had blow dried it and <laughs> gotten ready. On my way home, I had ordered a pickup of a book that I'm excited to read. It's called The Fortunes of Jaded Women. I bought it at the local little bookstore called Book Culture. It's such a cute store. I also thought I would tell you about a little kitchen reno that we're doing. Steven and I, right before the pandemic, were debating on kind of redoing the kitchen and replacing the countertops as well as the backsplash. Stepping back and thinking about it, these countertops are really beautiful. They do not need replaced. The other thing is if we wanted to donate them, there was no way they could get the counters out without them breaking. So knowing that, I decided to do the things to make the countertops work a little bit better, but also change up the kitchen. So what is happening is all of the white cabinets are going to be painted a really pretty beigey taupe color. I will insert the inspiration picture of the exact color actually that we're going to be using. We just signed the contract with our painter. He's coming to get a drawer front because we are going to use a brand new product from Benjamin Moore and it is the top grade cabinet paint and that is what he's going to be doing it. The dark wood will still sit day dark. I am debating if I'm going to switch out my hardware back to gold once the taupe is in. I just have to see once it's all in place. So that is happening. We're getting rid of this sink and getting a single deep basin, kind of more squared off modern sink. We hate that thing. It is so inconvenient, especially around the holidays when we're hosting many people. We will still keep our touch faucet that we installed. It is still 
the best thing <laughs> that we've added to this kitchen. Then the backsplash is getting switched up. I knew I wanted picket tiles, and these are the ones I selected. You're going to see that they are imperfect, and that is because they are all hand glazed and beautiful. And instead of stacking them horizontally, as I originally thought, they are going to be stacked vertically in the backsplash. So that is kind of the look of how they will run up the back of the backsplash, run the whole way up the back of the stove, and I am excited. Our tile guy is really excited about laying them as well. I just think, like, isn't that beautiful? And then we are going to transition those tiles onto the fireplace. So the hexagon slate is going to get removed and the tiles are going to run up the fireplace as well. Super excited. So we're getting essentially a brand new kitchen without really having to do too much. The tile is going to take about a week, and it's going to take about a week to do the cabinets because our painter, he is like top notch and amazing, and he is not going to rush the process, and he's really committed to just doing like the best job. So we're essentially getting brand new cabinets and a brand new backsplash, and I love how the beige will pull out the warmer tones of this stone as well as really accent the backsplash. It's gonna make me fall in love with the counters again. Getting a new sink will be a game changer as well. I'm super, super excited. So as you can see, we have lots of little house projects happening. I did that upstairs refresh, and then this is like the big, big project. And we are really excited about it because this is something, like I said, we were toying with right before the pandemic. We had actually gone and picked out all the stone and all the tile and everything, and then everything shut down. And obviously, we didn't follow through with it, which was probably the for the best because these countertops don't need replaced. I will also say to all of you, white cabinets are the worst thing to have put in your house. If I could do it over again, I would have never had white cabinets in my kitchen. I wipe them down every week and they still look filthy. I, they're just impossible to keep clean. So I'm really excited to get that done. And I would also say to that extent, a white backsplash when you cook as much as I do is also just impossible to keep looking clean as well. It literally is me ripping all these things off the countertops and scrubbing them all the time. And it's just nonsensical. So I know that the beige and this is going to make such a huge difference and also make life a little easier. So I just was editing, but now I have to start packing because I'm traveling for work. I catch a 5.30 a.m. flight tomorrow morning, um, but I thought I'd show you a new bag that I just picked up. I've actually picked up quite a few new bags. Maybe I'll share the others. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know some of the ones that I picked up. But I love MZ Wallace. I actually have the large navy blue Metro tote, but it has no structure. So this is a new bag of theirs that actually has like, like a structured base to it. I love their little Vachetta trim that they use, but this color is so on trend for spring, like this acid yellow neon color. So I picked this up as like my little work tote. I have to get all like the zipper paper off, but I'm really happy with it. It's a really nice size. It has nice pockets on the inside, um, a little pouch that you can, can you detach it? Yes, there's just like a D-ring that you can clip and unclip, then a nice little pocket in the back that zips. But yeah, I'm gonna use this for my work bag and then probably take my Dagny Dover um, tote for my clothes, but I have to get packing. I just threw in some laundry. Steven just woke up from his nap. Hi. You look tan. The lighting has been weird in the house today. It's that bag. But it, it, it gave me a tan just looking at it. Stop it. 
It's the trend color for spring. Well, I hope that uh, the airline, I hope that if they, the people with the little cone lights if, on the runway, uh -huh. if they don't have enough, they can always borrow that bag. Tell them how much Bubba's walked today. Bubba's walked, um, Bubba's walked. A mile and a half, you said. No, it was more than a mile, 1.65 miles. Bubba's walked 1.65 miles. He is 15 years old. He's over 15. Well, he is over 15. He will be 16 on Father's Day. But look at him. He's had a few health scares in his life, but who hasn't? He's still, he's still ticking away. Okay. I do think this food has made a difference. We cannot recommend Farmer's Dog enough. And then look how big Miss Mabel is getting. She is hiding under the table because there's like a dance that occurs during mealtime between her and Bubba's. She like licks his bowl when he's done. He licks her bowl when she's done. It's like a whole, it's a whole thing. She does not, um, and Bubba's has to eat in the nude. <laughs> yeah, Bubba's won't eat with his collar on. Now she knows it's her turn. Look how big she has gotten though. I mean, to think about where she was when we found her, to like, <laughs> like, her head is as high as the kitchen table now. Mabel eats just right by uh, Purina. It's a crafted dog food. You get to answer 20 questions online, and they craft your dog food. It's yes, so I still, it bums me out that we didn't submit the picture. Because oh, they would for... print, print the picture on the bag. Yeah, we just throw the bag. They put the picture on the bag, the, your dog's picture on the bag if you want, after the questions. Yeah. But um, you just... Uh, the bag comes with her name printed on it. Yeah, and uh, it has like a bunch of brochures on dog nutrition and stuff like that. She likes She's that. such a big girl. She's become such a big girl. We love her. All right. I need to switch out my work bag. Even though Steven has insulted it. And, and then uh, get laundry going. Oh, and for all of you who are trendy and unlike Stephen, I will leave it all linked below so you can find this exact one because it's really good. I am realizing that I have a little bit more <laughs> to get done today than I thought in order to be ready to leave for tomorrow. So I am going to cut this vlog right here, but I promise we will be reconnecting a lot sooner than the last time. But I will end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be soon. Bye-bye.